we, um, as a deacons, decided that um, we really want to highlight this year um, our missions that we're contributing to. Um, we did a lot of, um, we contributed to missions last year, and I think we, we um, brought forward and gave some information to, to you on those last year. But this year we really want to um, kind of put a face to those missions, and we've asked the uh, kind of the heads of those missions to, to come to the church and um, give a, tell, tell us about um, their missions. And um, so actually today, um, we're gonna have the Raymond family um, and with James Raymond talking, but um, I wanted to highlight real quick, uh, this year we um, have decided to do um, Steps of Justice, which is the Cunninghams. Um, they are working with uh, youth internationally. Um, and then we're also su supporting the Dahlberg family with CCF, which is uh, serving college age locally. And then the Raymond family, which is, um, you know, they have passion for serving the Islamic community, um, mainly in this area also. So we'll be having, um, in the next couple months, we're gonna try to highlight each one of those. And I also encourage you um, on this, if you'd like to sign up for their newsletter, I know each uh, one of those missions has kind of a, a, a periodic newsletter. Um, so put your name on that and say that you'd like to receive those so that we can um, kind of see what's going on and, um, See, and all this money is directly from this church that we've contributed. So um, we like we support them financially, but we'd also like to support them um, spiritually. So, so James would come up and uh, give a little bit of a talk. Thank you. Good morning, Refuge. Good morning. Hey, hey guys. Good to see you all. I'm quite, quite intimidated to the lights, but. So, uh, so my, for those of you who don't know me, my name is James. I have been in Seattle for about five years now. It's about 36% Parliament's fault that I'm in this city, but that's, that's a story for another time. Um, and uh, I'm married, I've got two kids, and I am, uh, I'm doing outreach to the Muslim community here in the city to explain how, the, how all that came about. It started right after I got married about four and a half years ago. And I was working at a job where I had a lot of time to listen to audio. So, uh, because I, I, so I decided to listen through the Book of Mormon on audio as I was working. Because I'd run into the Mormon missionary and wanted to have a slightly stronger answer than, oh yeah, I read about you guys on the internet one time. I wanted to actually you know, understand what they believed and be able to have gospel conversation. And once I was done with that, I decided to jump into listening to the Islamic book material. So I read through the Quran, I listened through something called the Hadith, which is an encyclopedia of everything Muhammad said and did, categorized into various topics. And then I became convicted that this was a very academic exercise for me. I didn't actually know any Muslims in Seattle, so I decided I should try and meet some. And then through a friend of a friend, I was invited to the Muslim Student Association at the University of Washington. So I went, walked in very awkwardly partway through one of the meetings, and the door is right behind the speaker. Everybody sees me come in. There's an awkward pause for about 30 seconds, but then one guy says, hey, come sit next to me. So I sit down, I, uh, he invites me back, and I kept going back, and I've been going now for four years. Uh, never the intention of starting up trouble, but the intention of listening, learning, making friends, and then being able to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with those friends about the gospel. It all came to a head in 2014, when I was invited to this interfaith dialogue on campus. And if any of you have ever been to any of these, they're usually incredibly shallow. But by the grace of God, this one had a, a very low turnout. And it ended up being me and five Muslims in the room for an hour and a half. <laughs> and and so the, the, the plan curriculum is like, well, how do we all be Americans together? And I'm foreign. Three of them are foreign. <laughs> there are two Americans in the room. So they just so 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 they just decided to start asking me some questions. It's like, so why do you believe that Jesus is God and man at the same time? Okay, right, good question. Uh, but then it gets crazy. Towards the end of that session, a girl called Zara said, you know, I really want to go to church sometime, 
but my Christian friend never invites me. So I was like, what? Well, my wife and I go, come with us. In fact, you guys should all come with us, make it like an interfaith field trip. <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, sounds good. I was honestly expecting nothing to happen. But three days later on Facebook, the official Muslim Student Association Facebook page sent out an invitation in, um, inviting everyone to my church. <laughs> so, um, and they said, guess what happens on Sunday, guys? Church. Our very own James Raymond has invited us to go to his church with him. Let's all go and learn about other faiths and how they're practiced around us. Like, okay. And 50 people, 50 Muslims, RFUP is being interested. Now, that's a college RFUP, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> but we had, we had 13 people from that invitation show up, and uh, we just had lunch afterwards, and we had some fantastic conversations. And, and at that point, that's when I decided, we, my wife and I prayed about transitioning to doing this as a full-time thing. So um, now, what I do is I basically try and meet as many Muslims as I can personally, try and build friendships, try and serve people, and try and have gospel conversations. And I want to help as many Christians as I possibly can be able to have those same kinds of conversations. So if you have Muslim friends that you don't know where to start the conversation with, if you, don't, if you, if you have Muslim neighbors where you just don't know how to even begin to reach out, then talk to me. Um, get in contact. I'll do whatever I can to help you. Nothing more important I can be doing than helping you to engage your friends and neighbors for the Great Commission. And then, um, just a couple of stories to illustrate this. So, so uh, one of my favorite conversations in the last couple of years is a guy called Hassum. Now, Hassum is a Saudi Arabian man who is obsessed with air travel. He's, he's probably on a few government watches as a result of that. Um, that's that's nothing to do with him. He's a great guy, actually. Very very gentle guy. Wouldn't hurt anyone. Um, but he came to church with us twice. And the big thing he was stuck on was um, the concept of salvation by faith alone. And he said, look, if Jesus achieved everything for you on the cross 2,000 years ago, why bother living a good life? Why bother with good deeds? Why not just live a life of sin and chaos? So I said, good question. Let me ask you a question. If God told you tomorrow, Hassum, I love you so much that I've forgiven all your sins in the past, and all your sins in the future, I'm also going to forgive. And on the day you die, I guarantee you a place in paradise. How would you then live the rest of your life? And without even blinking, he said, well, I would thank God for this incredible gift, and then I would give him the gift of my good deeds for the rest of my life as a thank you to him. Then I would tell everyone else how they could find the same forgiveness. <laughs> like, uh, that is better than I could have said it. <laughs> and, you know, he changed the subject pretty quickly after that, and these conversations aren't as easy as, you know, you know, line them up and done. But we're still friends with him. You know, he's, he's a, he lives in Linwood. I mean, he's, he's a local. He's one of your neighbors. So these people who are interested in these conversations are out there, and they're around us, opportunity is huge, and thank you for partnering with us and helping us to be engaged on this.